La Familia, coming to you live from the cool, groovy vibes of the Music House, Cardiff by the Sea. Welcome. It's a good place to be. Mm. <laughs> and so I thought, maybe, to be free, uh -huh. I traveled to San Diego City. I would play. I would see. I came to say. I looked deep into the blues of the ocean because water is life. Water is life. That's your mother deleting strife. It's like Gaia. She's got fire, earth, wind, all about your birth. This is the elemental. Tell them, Ty, I know that your blue magician is mental too. <laughs> yeah, it's mental. The ideas, the words moving through my mind. Then I bring it down into my body. Feel right, feel loose. Let the tension end out. Melt away like I'm alright. I feel fine. I'm living with mystics and misfits in the dream life. Singing fireside and sunitas. Yeah, you know we're on the map. It's a musical revolution for the freedom. Singing our heart song. Redefining that music that gets the hits and the views on the YouTube that the kids is talking about passing around in their schools. They want to sing their songs too and live for inspiration, compassion, and unity. We is all laughing and playing like kids. Singing again, I'm dancing, learning how to use my hands and make some magic. Casting out spells of the goodness everywhere I go. Yeah, I'm Peter Pan and spread those vibes worldwide. With the tribe, Angus and Kevin on the Facebook Live, cause you know Aye. we got an EP coming on from Angus and Aye. Violet protecting water and bringing Aye. everyone together for a mission, Aye. a most high vision. So step into it, we is fitting, not fitting in, but doing Aye. something different, Aye. cause you know that's what makes all the difference. Hey, we make all the difference yeah. when we. Keep water sacred, we make all the difference, hey, yeah. When we keep that water sacred, every day is a sacred day, it's all holy. Can't you see? I'm eating guacamole by yeah. the sea, yeah. I spice it with thee, <laughs> I got the Peter Pan vibes, and now I'm chilling, fighting Captain hey, yeah. Hook with love instead of swords. I don't need it. No lord from a religion. I serve the earth and the sun. Father Sky having fun. Mother Gaia's in a bun. <laughs> so delete your gun. Water is sacred. Let's protect it. Done. 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 <laughs> Yeah, thanks for having me on here for a jam. It's we had to get a little bit of Tyson flow in that one. Yeah, give him we a do, mic. We do, we do. Yeah. The Tyson yeah, flow is very yeah. important. We do like so yeah, um, oh yeah, that'd be awesome. So hello everyone, welcome. In this video we're going to be jamming a little bit about water and keeping it sacred. And I'm going to be interviewing Mr. Angus Wilson, epic curator, collaborator, producer, and artist. Um, we're here live at the Music House in the studio. Welcome. So yeah, and it's good to be here with you, man. It's good always a pleasure here. being around you. Always good to have you here. Got a little stage. Yeah. So we're we're talking about water is life and protecting the sacred. And I just want to jump right into this and kind of get Angus to share some of his vision. Um, for me, the sacred has always been guided and protected by music. Yeah. Music has been a number one DNA line through human culture and what the music house represents for me and like this community I think is very profound so on the topic of what is sacred and water um, being the emotion evoked by music mm. you know I, I was wondering if you would share with the audience here some of your vision on what music's for and like why you got into it and have committed so much of your energy to it yeah well I mean you definitely kind of hit started hitting that point you know before we were before we were speaking languages, we were using melodies and images, or uh, melodies and beats and rhythms to Definitely. express stories of our time, um, of our culture, our emotions, um, just by hitting rocks together and sticks together <laughs> and, you know, singing together around the campfire. So it's always been, it's never been like what it is right now. Money or right. music has never been about money and fame and all that stuff in terms of the majority of our history. Its value is definitely 
in, in our generation and you know in the last you know, couple of hundred years this value is becoming so uh, apparent that yeah it's been been a major industry but what the importance of music is is its ability to communicate um, messages um, you know everybody's had, heard that song that you're like man like I feel like that was written about me you know yes. um, the music has this power to have 30,000 people in an auditorium or in a room and have one person on stage and have every single one of those 30,000 people feeling the exact mm. same way that that one person on stage is feeling or, or trying to emulate through through a song um, when you really get get down to those kind of like technical sort of spreading of energy spreading of a communication um, music is easily one of the most powerful vehicles for that and that's why it's such a powerful vehicle for cultural change for awareness yes. um, and so for for me um, you know as a musician but also as, as a as somebody that works with musicians and coaches musicians and creates music with musicians I mean keeping the heart of what music really is um, is the most important part of my mission um, in just preserving its authenticity and preserving musicians in their authenticity as as artists and not um, having to sound or form fit into a certain um, style or a certain look to get their, their message across. Um, because as Kev was saying, it's, it's so important, especially right now where we've got a need for awareness and a need for truth um, in, in our culture right now around things like protecting our water and protecting our lands and um, making sure that we've got a planet here that is sustainable for human beings of the next generation and the next generation and the next generation. So, um, you know, as a musician, as a producer, my mission and a lot of our missions is so much deeper than just making music um, and getting on the cover of the Rolling Stone. It's, totally. it's really about using this gift and using uh, what we can to get that message out there um, in a way that's real, authentic, and relatable to to everybody. Totally. And like that's, I think what I heard you say just then was like, using music intelligently. Like I love the ethos of Music House and like this social intelligence that music represents and its ability to carry powerful cultural memes into mass consciousness. Yeah. And man, it's like Hollywood and what LA is pumping out kind of feels like the sludge and the oil that's poisoning the water a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and also there's gems in there. There's yeah. also a lot of beauty coming out of there. Yeah. Um, there's something for me, like speaking about water is life, about the kind of medicine music, <coughs> excuse me, community. And what I mean by that is like Naka, Medicine for the People, Dustin Thomas, you know, the Roots Vibes, Rising Appalachia, these very like earth protecting, mm -hmm. grounded musicians that I think fill a lot of the categories you were just describing. Definitely. Like, their heart is shining through. They're not changing their appearance or their or their art mm -hmm. to fit into what can be mass produced and sold. Mm -hmm. And so that is always for me. You know, I think everyone who loves underground music and like, you know, not the mainstream top forty. And if you've studied it, you realize how crazy the industry actually is. Yeah, yeah. It's like I, that's such a good point, and it's, and it's something to totally acknowledge and honor that there's so many musicians out there that are doing this work and, and using their their art for a, a deeper a deeper purpose and uh and i mean you sh shouted out you know a couple of those those really recognizable you know artists like Nako trevor hall you know totally. that, are, that are doing even jack johnson you know in his you know kingdom of of what he's created around music is is still using it very much for the purpose of bringing awareness to some some of these uh important issues of our cultural time um, unfortunately right now, you know, when it comes to LA, Nashville, Hollywood vibes, like it's not what's marketable, totally. you know, it's, and, um, it's, it's been seen as, you know, you bring up, you bring up not using as many straws, you know, not using straws at all, you know, right. no single use plastic and most places other than like Encinitas, you know, people are like, well, stop being a hippie, man. What exactly. if I'm going to sip my water yeah. out of? What are we going to sip my Pepsi? Yeah. It's <laughs> like, it's like it's not it's not necessarily anybody's decision so it's not something that we bring negativity into it's just understanding that right now we live in an economy that values profit over truth mm. you know and so even when the truth is that you know compostable straws don't compost in the water 
you yeah. know, and that compostable to go materials don't compost when they're in, in the garbage can with a bunch of stuff. Exactly. Um, the, the profit, the profit margin of continuing to uh, facilitate us using more and more and more right. and buying more and more and more outweighs the need for the truth of the matter to really be expressed. And so, especially in music, we see that happening yeah. um, because what's popular right now, what's marketable right now, is not necessarily what is the truth of that artist's artist's story. You know, so you see a lot of, of um, even these major celebrities that started out in a place where they're making amazing, beautiful music that you can tell is from their heart. Right. And somehow through the you know, the works of becoming a celebrity in Hollywood right. and blowing up, you know, and playing the Super Bowl, um, their music has lost a little bit of that heart. And even they have lost a little bit of that heart for what, what the music is. And you can tell as a listener. Totally. You can tell as a fan and as a person loving this, like when the heart's lost, it's like, man, like they used to be cool. Yeah. Or like, you know, their first album was epic. And so that that's something I think we're creating here. Um, I should mention Desert Rising and The Circle, um, Mystic Misfit, myself, Angus, Music yeah. House, um, John with Lineage, and Dharma Fire, Yachu, producing a festival. And I bring this up, um, it's actually next weekend, because of the local homegrown. Yeah, guys, there's still early bird tickets. We'll have the link in the comments. Yeah. If you guys are tuning in, lob us questions and let me know what you think. Yeah, we'll this is, here. yeah. if we have any, we'll have a little time again. Let me see if there's a bomb question but I was I was wanting to bring up like the ethos of this festival is like local musicians mm -hmm. from North County San Diego mm -hmm. and that's like this kind of same vibe you have here at Music House in the studio is mm -hmm. like you're recording with and coaching local musicians and yeah. like growing them and how important is that because you know where is all our music coming from it's coming straight out of the pipeline of you know Hollywood and the, yeah. and the studios there like the local music is kind of on its own yeah there's no structure well, I mean, the big, the big thing, I mean, this, this spans the, the music industry and goes into a lot more of like our culture on, on, on the whole. What we need to start seeing in our politics, in our media, in our marketing, in our music, in our movies is, is authenticity, is truth. Totally. Again, you know, it's um, for, for myself and for Music House, um, for this festival, you know, um, it's not just necessarily local musicians here in North County that we're working with um, because again they're they're out there like the Bob Dylan's of our time the Bob Marley's of our time are out there totally right now right now playing playing their music what's the difference is that right now in in our culture musically Bob Dylan himself wouldn't have had a chance he wouldn't have made it right um, it's just too abstract it's too it's too pointed and what we need to start seeing is a culture around uh, the value of music. So you think about these these movements like um, you know San Francisco in the '60s and you know New York and Greenwich Village and and um, in Seattle in the in the '90s. It didn't necessarily come from a bunch of musicians that had a common message um, and started playing and getting it out there and creating their fans and their and their following. What these movements came from was artists supporting artists yes. and coming together and and playing together and going out and seeing each other's shows you know a collaborative not competitive market totally. um, an ecosystem yeah it's, it's if you read up on it a lot of those artists will say well like you know we looked out in the in the crowd at that little coffee house that we played at and it was mostly other artists <laughs> that were coming out to support so that in itself is a great example for the type of society and culture that we need to start seeing totally. integrating into this jumble of what of the culture that we're in right now is people supporting other people, putting putting our own competition and our, this this way that we've been sort of trained to compete with one another aside and start supporting mm. each other in our gift yes. and, and putting those up in front of saying like yeah, this guy is an amazing musician. It's not going to take away ticket sales from my show to promote this guy's exactly. show. It's actually just going to create the market uh -oh. that we all need need to thrive. So this is like this is the deep abundance vibration. Mm -hmm. It's like there's enough to go around. Yeah. There's enough good music. Like creativity is endless. Definitely. So we don't actually have to like 
copyright label everything totally. and like be all freaked out. And that's like the point that you were making there, which is so true that, um, you know, you see it flooded into, into the top 40 where all of a sudden the music that we're hearing is not even, it's not necessarily authentic. It's not really like from the heart. It's very much kind of, I say this often, um, it's no more food than, Mc, or no more music than McDonald's is food. Exactly. Right? It's just prepackaged like bullshit. <laughs> But the thing is that you still have hungry listeners. You've got massive amounts of fans. Um, and it's not, it's not the fans going, yeah, I really actually like that so-and-so track that we know in our hearts is not, is not nutritious to our bodies. Right, right. It's the fact that there are still people that are hungry for music, that music still has a huge, huge value in our society. So they'll and, eat the junk food. And when all you have is junk food to eat, right. you're going to mow the junk food. Right, but starting for us to stand not only as artists but as creatives, as innovators, as entrepreneurs, for us to start to stand up for the value in things like music, um, we it, what that does is starts that, to plant that seed of creating an economy that values things like truth and things like authenticity. Yes. It's not just about music; it's really about how we change um, positively. I, I don't like the word change necessarily, but positively impact the future so evolution. of our culture, you know, yeah. evolution. We're, evo we're evolving what music means and what it can actually be. So Heidi, hello. Got some people on here. If you guys are tuning in, let us know what you think about music and where it's going. Um, so Darcy says, what are, what are the other ways to support artists? Live shows, absolutely, but how else can we support artists? Yeah, great question, Darcy. Thank you. Um, Live shows is, is a no-brainer, but there are so many, so many ways right now that we are getting our, our music and, um, you know, things like Spotify is a great tool, iTunes is a great tool, but we, we also need to understand that these, that these platforms, um, they pay very, very minimally out to the right. artist. So if you're getting your top 40 music from Spotify, that's all good. You've got an artist signed to a label that's getting, their, that's getting theirs anyway. But when you, when you listen to a song on Spotify from an independent musician or an up-and-coming artist, um, if, you, if you do the research, you're looking anywhere between 0.00217 cents to 0.005 cents Jeez. per stream. So that means for an artist to make enough money, um, and our good friend Tiamo puts this very well, for an artist to make enough money to live off ramen noodles for a month, that song has to be streamed 17,000 times. So really looking at where you're getting your music from. And if you're, if you're falling in love with an artist, buy that album, you know, um, support and share that album. Make sure that, that, that there's money going to it. If, if their album's on iTunes and you can only pay this much, well then hit them up on their website and find yeah. out, you know, what they're selling, what merch they're selling, what show they're going to be at. Um, get, just get behind some of your fav favorite artists. One of the biggest concepts, is this thousand loyal followers? Yes, um, thousand true fans. A thousand true fans. You know, for an artist to have a thousand fans that invest a hundred dollars in them a year, um, that's a hundred thousand dollars a year. So it's actually not that difficult for an artist to make a living. Um, it's just difficult for that money to be um, accurately put into their account after all of the the kind of corporation. Um, you know, I, I don't know exactly how I'm trying to say that, but the after all the, the cuts filter, are taken, the, the middlemen, yeah, and everything as as totally. it goes through iTunes and Spotify, when the artist is less left with less than a cent of that song, it doesn't provide a sustainable um, way for them to live. So, in sh in short answer to your question, really get to know the artist is a great Bingo. way to support the artist. Fall in love with that artist, read up on them. Um, it's, it's not just about hearing their song on Spotify and letting it go in through one year and out the other and, and adding it to a playlist. Understand who this artist is, where they come from, what, what they stand for, what type of challenges they're facing in their own music industry, and see how you can further help them um, get out there. It's a great way to create an economy around an artist. This is, this is great. This is like very on brand and aligned with the same way we think about food mm -hmm. here in North County and a lot of places I've lived. It's like buy local from the farmer, yeah. buy direct from the artist, like yeah. get their album and their merch like direct from them. Cause yeah, Spotify, SoundCloud, these, you know, applications and platforms are dope, but they're not going to support the artist in a real way. Them. Not yeah. at all. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, you know, when, when we eat food from, from a local source, we, 
you know, in a way we honor the hands that toiled the earth, yeah. you know, the seeds that were planted, the time that it took for that carrot to grow in the ground and be pulled out and brought to your table. In the same way, we want to look at music that way, you know, the time that it took just to write that song, to sit down and take those four to ten to three days, um, or four to ten hours to three days of time just to write a song, then to get it in studio, then to perfect it, rehearse it, all that work oh, that goes the into intention. one song. There's so much intention. You know, it's about honoring that. Yeah. Beautiful. Hello, everyone. Jumping in. What's up, Daniel? Serena loves supporting local music and the up-and-comers. Yep. Thank that's, you. All, that's what it's about. So I want to I wanna give you a chance to, like, Talk about what you're working on right now with Miss Violet yeah. and like what you're excited about. And we have a direct opportunity mm -hmm. to support North County music, which you know, I, I'm putting some roots down here, so I'm becoming quite fond of Angus, yeah, his we're, we're whole tribe. Around. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm getting tempted to settle here. So yeah, what are you currently working on? What are you most excited about? How can we help? Yeah, I mean, what's really obviously present right now because we're in the last three days of it is this Kickstarter campaign that my beloved and I, uh, Violet, um, we go kind of, we our duo goes by the name Miss Violet. Um, we've got an EP recorded, three song EP, and what we've, what we've been doing over the last 17, 17 days, 18 days, has been just reaching out to the community for the support that we need. Um, to launch the EP, we've got an opportunity to film an amazing music video with our boy Adam Roa. Um, and then we're going to be hitting the road in August on our first tour, tour together. So um, the music are, for, for us is very important because it's our music. It's an expression of just kind of us and our story. Um, it's also very much tuned to um, water protection and just bringing awareness to um, where we're at in our culture and our time around the protection of our national natural yes. resources. Um, Violet's music is amazing. She's an incredibly, incredibly talented singer and songwriter. If you guys want to check her out, Groove on Violet on Instagram or check yeah. out Miss Violet here on Facebook. And um, like I say, we're in the last three days of this Kickstarter campaign, uh, raising $10,500. And just in the last day, two days, we've started to see this swing start to go up that's really telling us wow like the community is is really banding together and coming out to support us so um i know that we'll probably throw a link in here yeah to the we'll have that campaign. link in the comments so you guys can support this epic project but if you guys want your next favorite band and your next uh, <laughs> your next favorite song check out our, our kickstarter because we're we're going to be releasing some pretty uh pretty bomb stuff in the next uh next couple months and this is literally just the start of it for sure We'll also have the link in there for Desert Rising if you want to grab your tickets. That's yeah, next weekend. We'll those links. Yeah, Serena, we got you. What's up, Daniel? Yeah, I love you guys. Thank you for joining. Angus, brother, it's been real. Yeah, Thank pleasure, you so man. much, man. Yeah, thank you guys for supporting live music. Yeah, signing off from the Music House. We love you guys.